Nick Hilkins outside the London Stadium, West Ham Fan TV. Uncle Pete, it was a, 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 a laboured performance today. Very, very. It, it, it's, they've just lost it lately. You know, the last three, four games, they've lost their mojo. We saw it against Kidderminster. We've seen it today, but I, to be honest, today I think it was more affected by the Zuma situation. I think it must have played on their mind. Made have played on them. It, it must have happened in the changing rooms, you know. Just a, you know all the shit that's been going. Sorry, all no, the, all right. no, no, no. All the, all the stuff that's been going on, you know, and it's well, you, you knew it because even with the crowd today, I mean, it was such a weird atmosphere. I, I can't ever remember being to a game recently, or even you know years that I've been coming. You know, it was dead quiet in that first half, and you knew throughout the crowd, everyone didn't know what to do. They yeah, didn't yeah. know. I mean, I would never boo one of our own players, you know. But, you know, there was people around me, they didn't know whether to boo him, clap Zuma or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And that same shit must be carrying on to the pitch as well and mm. in the changing room, you know. But, I mean, it, it was a laboured performance. And t until we scored the goal, and then we, we seemed to up our game. Yeah, yeah, you, you knew they've got it in it. We, we know they've got it in them. You know, because they've, they've performed well this season. You know, they've played football. There's been nice little triangles, taps, you know, here and there. But today, even Declan, the amount of loose balls and yeah. tackles he missed, you know, and that guy you can rely on 110%, you know. But it, we looked at, like a team that played a, a hard-fought game on Saturday and came here on Tuesday. We looked tired yeah. at times. Well, I mean, that, again, goes back to one of my other pet hates, which are Golden Sullivan, you know. They're tired. I'm, I'm just wondering whether, you know, the fact that we didn't get anyone in the transfer window, you know, and Antonio may be thinking, you know, have another guy, you know, fighting for his place, things like that. You know, it's all a bit of to get them going, isn't it, yeah. you know? And the fact, and, and all this rubbish, we get it every transfer window. You know, it used to be Sullivan would get Jack Sullivan to tweet things, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, Dad's, Dad's putting an offer for this one, putting an offer for that one. Yeah, and it's the same thing again, you know, they've done it again, you know, we're, we're going for this Leeds player, that Leeds player, 50, 60 million. It's, it's nonsense. It's rubbish, yeah. it's rubbish. We know they're lying, you know, and that's that's the old, you know, GSB out logo, you know, lie, lies, lies. Yeah, and, yeah. And it is all the time, you know, and, and uh, to be quite honest, I've, I've had enough of them, I just want to get rid of them, you know, because it's affecting the lads. They need a rest sometimes, they can't go from... Playing a and they've done superbly, haven't game. they? Yeah, yeah, I mean, and you know, we've had a cracking season, but that's the start of the season. We're now in the second half, everyone's knackered. You you need a decent second team. You know, you saw from the Ken Minister game, he put out the reserves, basically. He went, quite honestly, maybe he should have put a few of the youth team out, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he put that team out, and they're not good enough. They're not good enough for a champion side. Yeah. You know, Yarmolenko. What can we say about him? You know, he's he's not wanted to play for two, three seasons now. Well, yeah. two seasons at least. You know, all he wants to do is get his hundred and whatever it is, ten k a week. You know, and sit indoors with his feet up. I just, um, I mean, obviously tonight was a good point, three points. You know, we needed it because we've got all the others chasing up behind us with the, uh, you know, games in hand and everything. But. I've, I really don't know. I, I, you know, obviously I want us to finish in top four, but I don't think that's going to happen. I don't even think top six at the moment. You know, I think best we can probably hope for is seventh or eighth. Yeah. yeah. But you know, I've, I've, I want to see us in Europe. You know, I've, last time I saw us in Europe was 42 years ago in Madrid. You know, and uh, well, I'm looking forward to the next round when we get Barca. You know. <laughs> <laughs> But, well, uh, I think we'd beat them at the minute. Uh, yeah, uh, right, well, yeah. we would do if not everyone's not knackered. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. And that's the problem at the moment. They're, they're looking like a tired team lately. Yeah. You know, and we really did need one or two players to come in. I think in that in so that transfer window chance, yeah. to give us any chance. You know. But, Great. All right, mate. Thank you so much. Lovely. I really appreciate Big cold tonight. Oh. <laughs>